Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Life and I am so happy you are here because it's a special week this week. Yesterday was my birthday and so many of you sent me such a wonderful birthday wishes and today you guys are sending messages thank you thank you thank you for the most wonderful wishes my heart is full and speaking of a heart we're gonna be talking about some love and some hearts today but thank you so much for thinking of me i very very much appreciate you guys are my extended family and it means the world to me that you remember me so thank you so much and i remember you because on my birthday i celebrate all of you guys with an extra bonus blog for our uh, birthday quilt so many of you are making this beautiful birthday quilt where we making six and a half inch beautiful blocks one after the other you guys are putting it together having some fun some of you working from our coco blue collection some of you are working with your own fabrics or other collection from our studio but yesterday i surprised you with a bonus block and gave you wonderful little applique shapes that we're gonna be sprinkling here and there so save those shapes make sure you print that pdf go to our website to our blog and put some beautiful blocks together this one was the one that i posted yesterday will be there moa i don't know i don't want to spoil any surprises but i'm pretty sure when you finish this quilt you are gonna be so happy you're gonna get a cake and eat it at the same time just like the birthday party now uh, so many of you stop and visit me at road to california this was amazing we had our contest that anybody that stopped show me pictures of the quilts projects we took our names erin was there and myself we took your names and a number and we announced the winner so that already happened i did it live at the show it was wonderful but i still have to announce today winner for last time's question remember i asked you guys a question about uh what uh, blocks of the month we have happening right now how many blocks of the month uh, are gonna happen this year and and which one and so many of you have answered the question and one person we just pulled the winner is going to win our um, english garden fat aid bundle and the winner was lillian belly lillian belly guess what you won fat aid bundle and you are correct we have uh, our um, Teleshop uh, Village. See, I have to think about it. Teleshop Village Block of the Month. We have our um, uh, Blizzard Block of the Month and Sewing Basket Block of the Month. So we have three blocks of the month that are happening this year for you guys. And guess what? If you have not yet signed for any of the blocks of the month, you can still do it. Yes, until 31st, you can sign up for our Teller Shop Village. And I just taped the video live to show you how to make that block. And that's the one that it's going to repeat over and over. So that one is wonderful. Then the next block of the month that we're going to have is our Blizzard one and the one right after that starts is going to be our sewing basket and you can sign for any one of those they're so simple so fun because they're completely pre-cut for you we have everything organized and enjoy uh, um, with you through our videos and our blogs so we're super super excited so this one is already started but you can still sign up until the end of this month we have few more spots if you wanted to do it now you've seen it how the block is made how big it is go ahead sign it up it would be 10 month um uh, two blocks a month that you will be receiving pre-cut the pattern comes with your first month so january and uh the next ones are starting like i said uh march and april and i'm super excited for those two 
Um, now I was telling you about the road to California and all the beautiful, beautiful friends that came and visit me. We had so many wonderful uh, friends stop by. Some of my favorites were the young ones. I have uh, some super uh, sweet girls stopping by. They were so excited about quilting. Now also uh, my old friends stopped by and they wish me happy birthday. This was amazing. I got some beautiful gifts. One of my friends treated me for frogs in an English garden quilt. Yes, she used the English garden collection to make beautiful frogs and she gifted me with that quilt. I am so excited about it because we moving and I'm going to be able to put that quilt in my new studio. And speaking of moving, I want to take a moment and just remind you guys that this week is one of our hardest week we've ever gone to it. We're moving the whole business to another space. It's not far away, but we still have to pack everything, put on the trucks and drive it there. It's we're moving from Oxnard to Camarillo. Our new location will be in Camarillo because I am really hoping I have a dream that one day we will have an event center where all of you can come and quilt with me. Just sit around the table, stitch, visit, learn and enjoy each other's company. But to get to that dream, I have to move the business. So I just want to remind you guys next week, especially is going to be very busy for us. So please don't be upset if we are a little bit slower with our orders than usual. Uh, we have cut, we are packing everything. We are preparing our low quilts club, our blocks of the month. Everything is being moved as normally go, but adding the move to it, I know some of the orders are not going to be shipped right away. And if you have any problems or need anything and you must have it, email our customer service. But if we are late a few days, please be patient and know that we are moving. That's why that's happened. But you can still go online, order anything you want it. Just remember, it's not going to be shipped in three days. We need this next week to move and unpack. But everybody's so excited. We actually, I was there yesterday already in our new space. It is incredible. I cannot wait for my stuff to come in and be there. And then eventually you guys come in and quilt with us. Um, back to the road to california so many of you loved our new book our rainbow scraps and in the rainbow scraps i have a very special quilt called um uh, um be mine look at this today i'm having a uh, tough time remembering names of the quilt now you know this show is taped live I don't have anything here written down. There isn't a something that hangs front of me that I can catch with it. Michael, yes? I, I tell you what to do. Oh, Michael <laughs> will tell me what to do and what it is. But um, so many of you, but I don't have any notes to, to help me. So you know this show is live and you get to enjoy all the perfect things that I do and all the imperfection that I am. So that's the package. And I'm so glad we celebrate me yesterday because that's what makes me me with that little accent, with that little uh, quirky excitement about life, quilting and friends. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy right now. I'm happy that you are here and I'm happy that I'm here and I get to experience all of this wonderful world of quilting with you. How lucky we are. And one of my favorite quilts is Be Mine. And that quilt is in our book that so many of you holding your hands and browse through the pages. You were so excited. There were so many quilters that stopped by at the road to California. And we have this quilt made in two different color options. We have it in this beautiful rainbow, as well as the red and light option. And you know, Valentine's is just around the corner. And guess what? If you just make one block, frame it, and use it as a pillow, 
it is going to be beautiful so you can go ahead get the pattern for the quilt through the book all as an individual pattern and start getting excited about making hearts and enjoy but on my table i have more than just those hearts right here i have so many cute goodies for you and i'm gonna start with the special of the week we have a beautiful special on our collection called sweet ride i pulled this quilt this one is made with sprinkle but i pulled it because the backing is from sweet ride and i love that we can use those beautiful cards cars on the back of the quilt it makes make this quilt so beautiful look at just simple strips two and a half inch and then having the cars added so quickly to it if you have not yet uh, get that fabric of seen this fabric go to our website at laundry basket quilts and you can enjoy sweet ride and it's our special of the week so we have a beautiful discount on it we have jelly rolls look at them they're stunning so you can get a jelly roll and do what i did with sprinkle just sew the strips together with another fabric in between we have a fat aids you can also cut those up to nice squares sew them together the fabric is so happy already it doesn't need much oh we have beautiful fat aids a uh, fat quarters oh and oh my gosh i love those because if you want a quick quilt for a child or a little friend that you uh, love it and it's your sweetheart you maybe want a, a charm pack or lay a cake I also brought the patterns that go with this collection onto the table, but I know that those uh, pre-cuts are so easy to use it. You can get creative just by sewing squares, making stars or half square triangles, and it would look stunning. But if you want something a little bit more uh, difficult, I have uh, the Sweet Star. We have kits for that one. We have uh, LAX, what are their airplanes? so beautiful irish chain super simple lemon star so exciting no y seams you can just go ahead and start sewing strips cut it on 45 set it with two triangle and start making your diamond sets now car show is for someone that does not like to repeat the same block once and this one has a beautiful selection of cars I love this little quilt. It's a perfect also for block of the month. So those are the patterns that go with our deal of the week, the Sweet Right collection. But now let's get back into hearts. I hope I stole your heart with the Sweet Right, but I have more to show you. I'm gonna start with our pillows because if you're making projects and you have not just one, but multiple sweethearts in your life, getting them a cute fresh pillow for the bed or the couch and it could be your 30 year old daughter that's what i'm doing for mine Shh, don't tell her she's gonna get a cute little pillows with hearts on it and i love to surprise uh, my loved ones with handmade projects for valentine's so the pillow talk pillow is completely pre-cut and this is the one that it's in this package i have showed you this one before but I know it's on my table because it is one that I'm gonna be doing it. But this is so simple. You don't have to piece the background. You just line up your hearts, you fuse them, you can stitch around the edges, or you can go for a second option. What is, you can um, just uh, do a raw edge applique and use the quilting as your stitch. Fun and easy to do it. If those hearts are too small for you, you maybe want this pillow with the larger hearts and i'm gonna talk about that in just a moment we have a pillows where there's just a simple uh, reds pinks and burgundy and that one is pieced one or the pillow that it says love bird pillow and it has a beautiful heart on it with applique so those are the pillow projects that i have for you guys to recommend for uh, valentine's i have a few other ones so be patient i got this now 
right at the start, the most attention at the show got our pre-cut hearts. We sold out of them at the show, but I have the guys cut MOA for us as soon as I came back and notice that we have now back in stock the reds, the yellow, the green, and the blue. And this is a perfect startup point for anybody that loves hand applique. Those hearts don't have fusible webbing on it. They have a quarter inch seam allowance because I'm hoping that you're gonna do needle turn applique or machine applique with them. We have a BFF stencil that it's really cute that you can use this stencil to wrap the hearts edges around it and we have a hearts content pattern and the quilt is hanging right here you can use any scraps and i like to recommend get our hearts for this quilt or start collecting charm packs charm packs are so nice because you get so many 40 uh, pieces of fabric in each charm pack you get such a nice variety um, so for example, if you want it, 42 pieces, if you want it, you can get the uh, Sweet Right Charm Pack and make beautiful hearts with that one. We have those charm packs available and they're only $11 and they're on special right now. So they even less right now. So hearts content, wonderful quilt to use up your charm pack squares or any, um, um, any scraps you have and this is the same size hard that i used in my pillow this is where this design came from a few years ago i did a pillow and all that i did is took those hearts and made it to a large quilt because i could not stop myself once you make a one pillow two pillows three pillows it just keeps going and you're gonna want to grow on it and create more of the designs maybe you want to be giving somebody hugs and kisses and this pattern with half square triangle is perfect for a simple half square triangle quilt those x's with the star in the middle and those o's are super easy to accomplish if you're using our triangle paper the b mine like i said comes as a pattern in a book as well we have it as an individual pattern and i want to point it to you we have a beautiful kit that goes with it look at this kit as a gorgeous background nice fabrics for your hearts it has a great variety because you wanted the reds the mediums and the pinks that is gonna really give a nice value to your quilt i love this pattern and a kit maybe virginia star would be the one that you want to make this year and this one is perfect for jelly rolls and i brought this even that it doesn't says valentine's but because of the cocoa pink strawberries and chocolate kind of look you wanted to maybe use that pattern for your next project a uh, strawberry short case yeah mm, i'm drooling already those yummy colors are perfect in this quilt and we do have a kit this one no white seams but beautiful stars and i'm using my alaska ruler Oh, you can use template paper templates that is in this pattern like I said we have a beautiful kit and we are selling out of this fabric this is our strawberry and cream fabric that we um, had it last year and we don't have many kits left from that but when I was at the show this collection got quite a bit attention so I thought I pull it out and remind you guys that we do have it a little bit left and it's on our website at laundry basket quilt now if you love hearts and the small size hearts were too small for you we have the sweetheart pattern the original heart pattern and this one you can also get a stencil and the stencil has three different sizes of hearts this one is a lovely lovely quilt and it works great with layer cakes so if you are gifting somebody a quilt get a layer cake and make it from that all oh, if you're giving somebody a gift of a quilt getting a pattern stencil and layer cake to give it to someone would work very good and like i said sweet right has layer cakes as well so you can get it on special now 
swirl would be just spinning around. Your head is spinning from all those wonderful projects that we have. Also, I'm using in this design my Alaska roller. I'm getting back a little bit to the Alaska roller because there are some new things coming out with it. And I want to refresh it for you guys that it's so simple to use it and it gives you such an incredible and incredible results you get eight point stars with any y seams you get the star design it's really pretty and the swirls we do have a quit, uh, kit in coco uh, um, pink collection so if you want it you can grab those uh, grab that kit and enjoy and make some beautiful swirls now cinnamon sticks also come out from our strawberry and cream our red and light collections are so beautiful may i please be partial about it for just two minutes two minutes the quality of our fabric from andover is superior it is incredible it is so wonderful your quilts feel great when you're making uh, them from andover's fabrics but also the coloring and everything that I hope to share with you through Endover Fabrics, through my collections like Coco Pink, Strawberry and Cream, those reds are timeless. They go together with each other, but also when you just get a collection, they are just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There is not another word to use it, just beautiful cinnamon sticks is a pattern that i did and what i love about this one you get to use that a uh, panel that we have with the stars on it and you can still get that panel through that kit so there is a jelly roll for all your strips there is all this beautiful fabric a uh, layer cakes for your little um nine patches right there it's wonderful wonderful kit and a pattern we do have few of those on the website now for pre-cuts i love the blue moon pattern because it's perfect for charm packs and again i'm gonna pull that sweet right charm pack just crinkle your eyes and imagine a smaller little quilt with just all those colorful squares from our beautiful sweet right collection isn't that nice that could be such a cute little boy's quilt a little girl it doesn't matter just because it's cars does not mean that it has to be a boy's quilt girls love cars too i know a girl that really likes cars she's sitting right in front of me it's our erin i don't know if you guys know it erin loves cars if you ever get a chance go visit her instagram called likely to snap and she has so many incredible pictures of cars because that's her passion she loves that and i am so happy for her and another cute pattern if you're looking for something simple and we do have a kid it's our best seller cranberry chain don't go anywhere else come to us our pattern is the best it has three sizes small medium and large and we have this quilt right here next to me made from scraps this kit is just wonderful it has a great selections of fabric and you can make a similar quilt that i have it with this beautiful beautiful kit so very simple those blocks are using two and a half inch strips for the nine patches so nice and big it's not too small you make nine patches and then you set them with lights and reds to a beautiful cranberry chain and i have showed you this pattern with green with four of july this is one of our best sellers and i was thinking about it after we finish our common bride quilt alone what it's gonna take us eight weeks i'm gonna do something simple with you guys like cranberry chain for quilt alone because i want you to really dive into your stash get those jelly rolls that you have been buying and learn one fun pattern that you can use it over and over and over it looks great it gives a nice quilt uh, a room for quilting and i think it's gonna be wonderful and speaking of our common bride yes it's happening next month in february we are starting our quilt alone we're finishing shipping everybody's kids the response was incredible and overwhelming so so complimentary to our business and we are pay, 
paying attention, hand packing and slowly cutting every kit, making sure that everybody gets the most beautiful fabrics for common bright. You're gonna need it. All use your scraps from your stash, but uh, that quilt alone is starting uh, next month, I believe on the 19th, am I correct, Erin? Yes. yes, on the 19th, you will get a first post, but before that, we are sending a blog about the housekeeping. One more time, remind you what you need, how much fabric, uh, where you find all the tools, how to prep your things, so that way you're ready, set, go, because so many of you are reaching out to us asking, you know, um, can I pre-wash my fabric? Do I do this? What do I do? I have scraps. Can I pre-cut them? So I'm doing that right now, um, making that blog so that way we answer all of those questions just before we starting our quilt alone. But super excited about that one. It's not a simple quilt, but don't look at the whole quilt. Look at one section at a time, just like life. You only get to live one day at a time. You don't get to like do all at once. So try to focus on just today, getting up, getting yourself ready, putting some flowers on your table, making yourself a tea and addressing all the things that you have to do through the day, making a little list for yourself. It feels really nice to cross it off. Do you do lists? I do it. I love making a list. And then I feel, okay, even if it's a simple thing, like I have to do my dishes, oh, I'm gonna do prepare my new block. I put it on my list and then I feel like, yeah, I did it. Sometimes we go from one thing to another and don't accomplish anything. Having on a list make us accountable to do it, finish, cross it off. So think about it, the same in quilting as you prepping for your quilt alone. Now, if you don't have much time because you have a big list, I think Quilter's Dozen is a perfect project for you to make some beautiful hearts. And this project has all your blocks pre-cut and they are six inch blocks and they are just so cute, six inch finish. So if you want something fun and quick, go ahead for Quilter's Dozen go to our website visit my blog where i show you different layouts you can make a table runner you can make a pillow you can make a quilt you can set it on point quilters dozen would be so much fun for you guys now another quick and fun project is our sew in love because it's an applique project i know you will say applique that takes so much time not with our pre-cut silhouettes. We have all these beautiful pre-cut shapes that you can take and collage to beautiful things. We have Sweet 16. We have this one from Low Sweetheart. We have a beautiful Sew in Love silhouette. And I uh, took the package of Sew in Love and that's the package that it's inside the kit and I collage it to a beautiful heart. The layout is in the pattern, so all that you have to do, open the pattern and start placing your pieces, iron them on, quilt, and create a beautiful pillow. And my pillow, I didn't even stitch around the edges. All that I did is I quilted right over. And my quilting is holding my pieces in place. I'm not going to wash this. I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm going to enjoy it. And I have been enjoying it for quite a few years now. And look at it still gorgeous, beautiful. Even that I take it to all the shows, share with everybody. And everybody's tried to pick the pieces off to see how did I attach them. I just iron them on. They're going to stay on for quite a while. Two, I make a new pillow. That's how that works in my household. If you want more of the shape, we have so in love stencils and these stencils provide you with all the shapes. And speaking of our little um, birthday uh, quilt, we have stencils also for all the shapes. This stencil is on our website. So if you are interested, you can go ahead, grab a stencil and that way you always have the shapes. The stencil is nice because it's easy to draw from. Even if you're drawing on fabric, you put your fabric wrong side up, you put your stencil, you draw your shape, 
for example, if it's a leaf, then you can cut a quarter inch bigger and applicate to your background. I'm using fusible applique directions, so I'm drawing on a fusible paper, lightweight heat and bound fusible paper, and then I'm fusing that to my fabric and cutting exactly on the lines. And I showed you that guys at our little live show last Wednesday. And if you want more information on fusible applique, I also included a link, fusible machine or hand applique. I included a link through our blog to a amazing video so go ahead check that one out now we are back into what we have in stock but not much left not much left i hope you guys are paying attention because i'm gonna be asking some questions look at this lovebird trio there are three pillows in it one of my favorite is the heart to heart it's this one it has 16 hearts on it four by four look at this isn't that sweet so that one is one of my older pattern with hearts in it and it is super cute so you can make that pillow very quickly with the low uh, charm pack but we also have a kit for this uh, uh, pillow the kit includes your front of the pillow your back of the pillow your lining your binding everything you need it it's nice and easy to make perfect for beginner applicators so that is last for our kids if you want something special for someone and you don't want to make it's last minute there's some gifts that i pulled of course our two towels one with the heart to heart another one with our applicate heart those designs are on the pillow and maybe you want to add to grab a kitchen towel maybe you want to add a little organizer in pink or we have our favorite this is our so daisy that you put on the top and the bottom and we have a pink one but it's perfect for anybody that loves pink that want to do something fun for valentine's a low pink flower how can you go wrong so the so daisy are super cute i'm gonna use the so daisies our door prize today and one of our heart to heart uh, kitchen towel now we also have red low fabric markers they're so fun with a b c one two three so that way you can mark this is my raw a this is my uh, block one you can mark your things with the fabric markers or which fabric you cutting from i love those super fun to use it so those are, could be fun low gift and of course if you're giving someone a so daisy you want to also give them a beautiful spool of orophil thread and why not red this month uh this coming month because this red could work perfectly to practice your blanket stitch and go around the edges of any of your lovely projects that you're going to be making with red fabric the so uh uh, stash and store from um, Fat Quarter Shop is also super cute as a nice low gift and that one comes in pink as well. Now, if you do not like to give red or pink for Valentine's but you still want to treat somebody for nice beautiful gift, I'm going to save those clothes. Erin, don't let me forget. All right. Um, but because i'm going to be asking question and my question for you guys is how many hearts is in heart to heart pillow all right so as i'm showing you the next gift let's see if you have paid attention how many hearts is in our heart to heart um, pillow that's your first question for the day i'm gonna have few questions i have few door prizes for you guys so if you do not want to do red for valentine's getting somebody a small box of thread or big box of thread always the best it's like a box of candy the open and they go wow this is yummy and those threads are secret stash you can't go wrong with it because they go very well with any of our scrappy projects and maybe you are gearing yourself up to do common bright you're gonna want to have one or the other of those or you want to get someone a pre-cut kit 
I always go for the pre-cut kits and guys I talked about this before but finally I can show it to you Alaska English Garden this is spectacular oh my gosh I love love this kit it's every block completely pre-cut for you organized it's beautiful and you get the star fabric for your border do you see this so you can cut your border this is the um just the paper from inside but notice just cut it and don't be fussy i would random cut it and this is what i did on a picture because if you do that it's gonna look more scrappy it's gonna look more vintage like you ran out of pieces this is gonna be wonderful if you want to be fussy cutting <coughs> i'm pretty sure you can do it too but i'm placing mine just random so highly recommend this is a great gift for anyone husbands if you're watching this don't get flowers this year get this kit for your wives and i uh, or girls if you're asking your husband please tell them i said this is the best gift you will both benefit from it because you're gonna be making the quilt and he's gonna be uh, kept warm after you finish the quilt so this one is wonderful another incredible um, quilt that we have that it's pre-cut is the michigan super simple in our cocoa pink collection and i love 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 that one all right erin do we have anybody answer the question yes we do yes we do have a winner I love and that. our winner today is heather martin and the answer is 16 hearts. I love that. This is amazing. You just won a beautiful towel and so daisy in pink from me. And now guys, I have, and please remember, send us your address so we can ship it to you. Send email it to our customer service. I have two more gifts that I'm gonna hand out. And this one is, quite big i'm gonna treat somebody for a full set of hearts this set all four sets the blue one the green one the yellow the red somebody's gonna win a set of heart and heart uh hearts content pattern if you tell me how many hearts is in hearts content quilt how many hearts is in heart content quilt erin is smiling she is so happy she's doing this for me oh this is amazing and you know i just want to show you this every time we're starting a live show this is how erin starts the live show she sends a heart to me because then i know i'm ready set go i'm online visiting with you guys giving the she's giving me the love cue that i can visit with you so guys do you know how many hearts is in the um heart content all right it's a great question i think we're gonna need a second to let oh you know what actually i'm gonna go first person first person oh this is incredible and do not worry again just like we did it last week i have one more door prize and i'm gonna ask a question and you have a a whole week or a little bit more because uh to answer to the next live show. I will announce this winner on the next live show. We are hoping, fingers crossed, that next Friday we can stream from our new studio. But in case something doesn't go right and we're still moving, please don't be upset that we're not gonna have a live show on Wednesday or Friday next week. I think Wednesday, I, I know for sure we're not going to because a lot of the tracks gonna be moving us, but I think Friday, we may be stream to you guys just to show you our empty space and all the boxes that we have to unpack and all the fun things that we are planning ahead. So I'm hoping we will have a live show, but in case not gonna happen, I'm sorry. 
Okay, who won? We do have a winner, and um, the answer, and kudos to this quick answer, by the way. <laughs> I also had to go check. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Um, it was quicker than doing a count. Um, the answer was 248, and our winner is B Squared Quilting. Congratulations, you just B Squared Quilting. You just won a set of hearts, and a beautiful hearts uh, content pattern and I have to tell you I had to peek few times in the back of the pattern to double check how many hearts so if you didn't know don't feel bad but guess what I have one more simple question this time and let's see if you can answer and you know you can answer more than once just keep answering put your names down there because we spin the wheel and somebody's gonna win so uh, and if you want to tag your friends on this video so they also get to win but the next question and i'm gonna keep a surprise what that person uh get to win i'm gonna give you a little preview there will be charm packs there okay i don't know how many but i'm gonna create a little bundle of my favorite charm packs and somebody's gonna win and the question is super simple and i'm also gonna add this bff stencil and uh, uh, template so that way you can cut hearts out of your charm packs but somebody's gonna give a uh, win a nice selections of charm packs there may be some that you cannot even buy it anymore just wait i'm gonna surprise you guys but my question is how many squares of fabric is in a charm pack I love this one. So and, simple. And and while we do um, wait for our answers to roll in, I have a question about... Uh, and this is the one that they have to answer. Uh, we're going to announce the winner next uh, week. You can start answering now, but we will announce the winner next next time we have a live, sh a live show. Hopefully next Friday. If we don't get to you next Friday, we will announce it at the next live show that we're going to take. So keep putting those answers um i have a question for you really quick uh, quite a few people have asked this yes. about common bride it, are the appliques going to come pre-cut and fused or are they going to be cutting their own applique so at this moment we are planning that you guys are cutting your own appliques because i want you to use the same scraps and leftover fabrics and we have put enough fabrics in the kit that does include your applique shapes so that's the goal e, uh, i did dom talk to our staff and we are working on a pre-cut package for the applique but i'm gonna announce this later on we do not have it yet made i don't know if it's going to be possible i think this time you're gonna be cutting your applique shapes and enjoying them so make sure save every single little leftovers because you want that scrappy look to your quilt i love that awesome um we have a birthday quilt question yes um we uh had a customer ask should they sort their blue fabrics by the light, mediums, and darks in order to keep from running out of fabrics throughout the project, or what would you recommend? Um, so if you would like to, yes, sort their fabric. I'm hoping that our bundle was just a startup point for your quilt. This is what I did. I created all the blocks and I checked that fat quarters were enough. But as you can tell, this project is developing as we are talking about it. And every week I'm like, oh, I have to add this to it. I'm hoping that you take this journey with me. As I'm making my quilts, there may be some things changing and I'm making a little bit more or less. I'm hoping you will be flexible. I'm not tying you down to fat quarter bundle. You can have a little bit more fabric. You could have a little less. You could use your own scraps. You can use our bundles. I know you're going to have a beautiful project because once you start putting all those blocks together, no matter how many you make, I will have great layouts for you and other fun ideas how to finish but um yes i will sort my fabric use them 
but please be flexible and think about using some scraps from your stash to make this quilt your own and i'm gonna do that too maybe next block you see something that has a vintage piece in it that you don't even have it and can't buy it what are you gonna do then you're gonna go ahead and find something special from your stash i didn't say i'm gonna do that next week i'm just saying overall there may be times that i use the center of something maybe i do a signature i don't know i don't want to spoil your surprises but it is my birthday and i'm going to make this as delicious and incredible and fun and exciting and surprising as possible i'm celebrating all year how is that i'm i'm doing it so um first of all thank you thank you thank you to thousands and thousands of you that are joining us in please know if you are a store owner if you are uh, if you want your customers to get involved you are friend store owner if you another designers coming up use your fabric use the patterns that I'm providing and celebrate with me this year I would so much appreciate and love to see you have as much fun making my birthday quilt as I am having it right now so I hope that answers some of the questions yes sort your fabrics be frugal make sure you use every bit take some fabric from your stash to make your own love that um, another birthday question uh, quilt question yes um, from Pat Morris she is joining us for the birthday quilt and she says the birthday quilt bonus block is my first applique attempt should I put a stabilizer under the background um, to satin stitch around the applique or suggestion so what I would do I would not practice on the block I would create for myself a little swatch a little square especially that this is your first time create multiple little squares with just one leaf on it and experiment how it feels when you put the stabilizer how it feels without it how it feels with starching your fabric before you put the pieces down experiment and guess what choose for yourself I don't use a stabilizer because the fusible webbing that I use has a nice stiffness to it and give me enough support that I can do a nice zigzag blanket or satin stitch around the edge. So I don't, but if you need it, please do. And with those three samples that I suggest, or maybe you do more than three because you're gonna experiment with different stitches, then you have something you can put in your booklet and refer to it every time you try to do applique and you're like okay how did i like this with the stabilizer how did i like it without it will refresh your memory and that way you can practice on something different before you go into your block perfect i think that'll be helpful for a lot of people yes um <clears throat> We did have uh, one customer that's part of our little quilt club right in. Oh, yes. Uh, Quilting Queen 71 and I was wondering, that. she just finished her English paper, paper piecing little garden top and she's wondering, what are your recommendations for quilting? So for that one, oh guys, I would do some hand quilting on this one. And you could do something simple as a Baptist fan, just little arches just little arches and you can draw them yourself or you can get a stencil that calls um, a Baptist fan. There is a company uh, that has a lot of nice stencils out there, Quilting Creation International. They're perfect for quilting. So I would probably do a little Baptist fan or do some hand quilting. Uh, you don't want to uh, do too much to the quilt top because you want to keep it nice and beautiful and all your handwork congratulations you know at the road to california one of our customers brought the quilt to show it to me and it looks so lovely and i don't know if she's gonna stop at the low one i think she is uh now hooked to english paper piecing and you can keep on growing on this and speaking of keep on doing more if you love our low quilts club and you miss the quilt or you want two of sorna quilt you can go ahead and email our customer service and see if you can purchase additional quilt 
if we have it we make sure we sell it to you if we don't have it i'm sorry but if there is something you're looking for example you love and you want to make it a little bit bigger or you make two because you want to have one for your sister you can uh just visit us and this is especially for the customers that are part of our low quilts club any other questions erin uh, yes, we have one more and it was um, from Brenda. She says, your pillows look so soft and squishy. What pillow inserts do you like oh, to use? You can get them on our website. I use the Habs uh, pillows insert. So just visit our website. We have the 18 inch one. So uh, they're right there. I think we have a 16 inch and 18 inch, but if we don't, don't be mad. I, I know for a fact, uh, yeah, we have the 18 inch because that's what's in my pillows. I love that. Sometimes they sell out. So that's why I said we don't. So be patient and with the move, um, you know, I don't know how much stuff is right now restocked. We're trying to move and then we restock again. We're gonna have a wonderful, wonderful moving sale too. I didn't tell you about this guys, but yes, as soon as we move, we have incredible moving cell. You're going to find so many goodies and we're doing live moving cell. Did I tell you about it? I, I totally forgot it. So what we're going to have, we're going to have a table of goodies that are just one or two of them that we have it that are not even on a website because with the move, I'm like, oh, wow, this kid is here. Oh, this bundle, somebody's going to want to have that. So we're going to have a beautiful moving cell online as well on our live show. So be prepared. Not the first show, but um, because the first show, I want to do a live show to show you the space that we're moving into it and how it looks before we decorate. So um, I'm hoping that we can do that one next Friday. But then we're going to have a moving cell on our live show and our website. I love that. Sign up for our newsletter if you want to know all things about and if you want to be the first one to uh, to see it. And we will list some quilts for sale. So if you guys want a quilt from Laundry Basket Quilts, that's maybe the time to to get one. Love that. Um, we actually we had one other question come in um, from Priscilla and great question, especially with all the little applique stuff we're doing. She was wondering, she says, no matter how well I steam press my stencils, uh -huh. my s needles still gunk up when I sew them down. Do you have any suggestions for type of needles or um, a way to avoid the gunking? So what I would do, first of all, you, you need to press long enough to melt away the sticky. Okay, that's why it calls steam as seam. So you want to use low steam and I like to press it from the top. I flip the block. Where's my low block? And I press it from the wrong side too. But if your needle still go up, non-stick needle from uh, Schmitz is perfect. Second, make sure you have a little alcohol wipe, you know, just a little wipe and wipe your needle. Not when it goes up, wipe your needle, just uh, um, stitch wipe your needle stitch wipe your needle don't do it only when the needle is already gooked up okay so i hope those two things will help you if not i want to see a sample of what you're doing so we would have to go through our customer service if you send me just a tiny bit of fabric and show me what's not working for you then i can look at it up or wait that we have it open our uh, event center and you can come and take one of the classes for applique learn how to do it and then stitch the edges around we will have a lot of beautiful classes in our event center and all of that is going to open end of this year i love that thank you so i'm much. so excited about it i'm so looking forward to it um i think uh that was it on my end for right now wonderful guys thank you so much for joining us for the last show in our old studio. Michael and Erin, thank you so much. I'm gonna see you next time in our new space, in our new studio, beginning a brand new journey with you guys on MOA quilting together, MOA video, and having all this incredible time. 
just supporting each other in quilting journey. Happy quilting and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.